Hello and Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. This is Reverend Eliza Bloom Robinson with your Christmas meditation. So as we prepare for this time of meditation, I just invite you to open your mind and open your heart to the real reason for the season. So as we do so, I invite you to close your outer eyes and take a deep breath in. And just call this moment sacred for yourself, no matter what's going on. No matter what's on your mind, what's on your plate, what's happening in your living room or in the world, in this moment right now, this is sacred space. This is your moment of Christmas. And so set aside the thoughts, set aside the busyness, set aside everything and anything. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, feel yourself dropping into this sacred space. You might imagine moving into a bubble that is sacred. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale this time, feel your awareness dropping into not only the sacred space, the sacred bubble, but the sacred space within your very own being. For this is the season that we celebrate the birth, the awakening of the Christ essence. So breathing slow and deep. Letting your body still and your mind become quiet. Imagine yourself on your own sacred journey. Perhaps it's been a long journey through the events, the circumstances of this year. Whatever your journey is, you've come to this moment in time. In this Christmas season, we not only honor and celebrate the characters of the Christmas story, we become them. So become the person who is awaiting the birth of something you know to be special. The journey may have had obstacles. You may have had to ride a donkey for days to get to an unknown place. And yet, deep within your being, there's a knowing. There's a knowing that not only is all as well, but also that something really amazing is about to happen. We also know that the most amazing things don't necessarily come with convenience. In Mary's case, there was no room for her at the inn. She found herself in a stable with birthing pains, knowing that the time is come. For you, for us, this moment might not be convenient, and yet 
the time is come. Feel that anticipation. Look back over the past months, years, even. And bring your awareness to this now moment. This now moment, it is time for this thing, this essence, this being, this dream to be birthed in you. And yet birth itself is not simple nor easy. Birth itself includes labor pains or labor pains for this evening, for this moment, for this morning, for this moment in time, or letting go, surrendering all that no longer serves. The thoughts, the beliefs, the situations, the circumstances, most of all your self-doubt. Feel yourself being willing to surrender all that no longer serves. Feel yourself being called even deeper into this moment to awaken to birth a new experience of your own Christed self. And you might be saying, no, not me, I can't. But you don't know. Just as Mary did when the angel Gabriel appeared to her. But the angels on high right now to you say, yes, you are ready. And yes, you are the one. Just as we all are. The question, the only question that remains is, are you willing? Are you willing to birth the Christ presence? Are you willing to burst out of the cocoon of your limited humanity, out of the cocoon of the separated self into oneness? And if you are so willing, feel those labor pains. Feel your yes becoming stronger than anything you've ever yet experienced. And feel the support all around you. And we imagine off in a distance, the angels are singing. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be, this moment is happening. And feel the shepherds listening to the angels going, yes, 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 the shepherds can be our thoughts. And they're about to follow, they're about to arrive and feel the wisdom of the wise men and the gifts that you are given simply by birthing your Christ consciousness. Feel yourself moving now through the birth canal, letting go, being squeezed, letting go of our humanity, of the limits of the places we play small, of the places we yet feel unworthy, of the places of unforgiveness. Feel yourself moving through those things and coming into a place, a broad, expansive space. You can feel the love. You can feel the light. You can hear the chorus of angels cheering you on. Come through this canal. Come through this tunnel. Just another moment. You're so close. Can you feel it? One, two, three, a final push, a final surrender. And man, there you are, birthed. And as you are birthed, there is a huge light 
that comes from the very center of your soul. It's a new star on the planet. And in this new birth, you feel yourself new, freed, expanded. You feel a love like you've never experienced before. You become the light like never before. And you know this without a doubt. You are the one we've been waiting for. Not from a place of arrogance, but from a place of deep knowing. Feel your heart expanding. Feel your very DNA being restrung out of fear into love, out of separation into oneness, out of lack and limitation into all things are possible. Feel the compassion, the kindness. See the beauty, hear the joy of a new day, a new being, a new essence. Feel your call. So we take a few moments to bask in this newness, in this expanded state of consciousness. Let it move through your heart, through your being, through your mind, your emotions, through your physical. Feel it moving through this moment in time, through this day. Feel it moving through your life. You are changed by love, by love itself. You are love. And you are loved. You are loved beyond measure exactly as you are. And in knowing that love, you feel yourself called up and called out. Look around you. Notice that it is both familiar and new. Feel the awe. Feel the wonder. Feel the delight of this birth in you. Notice how you have transited in this moment now any and all of your previous challenges. Sure, there may be more, but you are more well equipped for you. Have awakened the Christ essence. You are expanding even further with each breath, becoming, being, and breathing. The Christ that you are. the love that you are, the joy that you are, the hope that you are, the peace that you are. Let yourself soar with the angels. 
let yourself be welcomed by the Christ. Let yourself lean into this possibility as being very, very real. Take another deep breath in and notice what you notice in your mind, in your being, in this moment. Become willing to further embody it and embrace it, further integrate this experience into all aspects of your being. At Christmas, we celebrate love. We celebrate the birth of the Christ. And this year, we celebrate the awakening of that Christ essence that is within you. Just feel how it feels. Notice what you notice. Perhaps your heart is open wide. Perhaps there's tears in your eyes. Perhaps there's a tingling in your being. As we each awaken our own Christ essence, we do it for humanity. As we each join together, awakened in a greater expression of Christ, we stand together for a world awakening. And for this moment, and for this experience, and for this very, very, very real possibility, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. And so we let it be. Take another deep breath or two. If you can, stay here in this space, bask in it, let it further integrate in you and through you and as you. And when you're ready to re-enter your day, do so as the light of the world, the love of the world, the Christ in you, as you, through you, and have yourself a very, very, very merry Christmas. I'm Reverend Eliza Bloom Robinson with your Christmas meditation. So much love. <laughs>